Good morning. Renee is here. Um, another morning talk. The last conversation that we had was about narcissism. Um, that's pretty much where I'm going with it. I'm going to stick to that subject because it's very important. Um, I know a lot of you out there are dealing with people that are trying to suck the energy out of you. You'll feel left like any hobbies, any dreams, any kind of bright light that twinkles in your eye that you love doing, your sports, your writing, your artwork, um, hiking, any kind of fun thing, swimming, spa days, anything that you like doing, when you get with a narcissist, it's literally taken from you. Why you got to go do that? Who cares about what you like? Your thoughts no longer matter. Um, your hobbies no longer are important. Um, and that's, that's how they're wired. It's very sad. It's sick that they're like that. Um, they have no emotion. Um, they want to be the only important person. Uh, what their hobbies are, what, what their sports, what their art, supply, whatever their dreams are, the narcissism person, the narcissist, that's all that matters. Only what they desire, what they like, what they love is the only thing that's, that's important. And then here you are, confused and left in the middle. You don't want to anger them because God forbid you go against what they say and, and you got to walk around egg, around them on eggshells. No. So if you're dealing with that kind of BS, um, please, you, you have to realize it took me a good decade to really actually let it all filter and, and, and settle in because I said, no, this maybe there's just... It's in my imagination. It's my imagination because they gaslight you. They tell you over and over that, oh, that didn't happen. That's not right. You're imagining things. That was the fa that was my favorite one. I was imagining, I was imagining things. It was all in my head. Um, you know that that uh, no one's gonna believe you. Why? Why would they believe you? No one's going to believe you. He had it to where pretty much would try to go against and have my whole family and, and his family and everybody. Like, why would they believe me? So please don't, don't have someone tinker around in your mind. A narcissist person can be male or female, pretty much any age. I, I would probably lean more to... You know, upper teens to adults is what is what I would assume. Um, I always really thought it was mostly male, but I have met female narcissists um, in my life. I married a I married a male narcissist. I also was in a relationship for over a decade with a, another male narcissist because they feed on empath empathies, empathetic people. Um, they, they, they can suck the life right out of you. They can sense the sensitivity in people, the niceness. Um, they can, they can, it's like they feed off of people that are nice, <laughs> genuinely, that have a heart, that, that care, um, that have a, a sweet spirit and soul, and they feed off of that. And it's almost like, if you try to get attention from them or, or emotion or affection, they're not going to show it. In the beginning, they, they show and they, and they charm you. Um, they, they, oh, they'll give you gifts. They'll sweet talk you all day long. And then once they feel that they have you in their web, they're going to start spinning you around in the, in the web. And then little by little, they're going to put that venom in you to make you more weak, more weak, 
to, to eventually you're going to be paralyzed and then you're going to realize years have passed literally months and months and years have passed and you have been stuck in this relationship and they are playing with your mind and you don't know what is going on before you know it you're going to be weak you're going to have lost all all thought process of who you are who you were what you like doing so you have to break out of the web you have to don't get any more toxic venom from these from these people if it's friends if it's family if you're in a relationship whatever whatever it may be make sure you break out of that web because they will eventually leave you completely paralyzed and stuck without any any care they'll discard you like you're a piece of trash like you're nothing and leave you feeling confused lost uh, make you feel like you were the problem and then before you know it your whole life just is one big tornado just spinning around so if any of that sounds like what you're dealing with um, please stay away from them make a plan to get away from them the best thing to do is no contact whatever it is if you if you do have kids with the person make it as minimum as you can to talk with the person and you will be able to have a better uh, better life better mindset uh, you won't feel like you're going crazy they do try to make you feel like you're going crazy so don't let them try to suck the life out of you like a body snatcher they're just gonna come and they're gonna take all your joy from you all your 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 artistic abilities your your everything you ever cared about they're gonna come and they're gonna just step on it they're gonna act like it doesn't matter and it does matter you do matter whatever you like doing matters and don't let them tell you otherwise and don't be afraid to fight back and don't let them win do not let the narcissist win so have a good morning and love you enjoy your day